Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Sasek and welcome to today's vlog. Today, we're going to be talking about something I'm pretty passionate about. Why am I so passionate about it? Well, for one, it's body image and opinion filtering. And honestly, that's something that 99% of people can relate to. Everybody's had a problem with body image and really, if you say you haven't, then you're fucking lying. And so moving forward, we're going to be talking about why letting other people's opinions matter and like change you or just do anything really. It's just, it's bullshit, you know? I guess it's really one of those topics that it's something you know you shouldn't let affect you, but it does anyways, you can't help it. But it's still bullshit. It's just straight fucking bullshit. Unless a person is really close to you, somebody you actually love, their opinion of anything shouldn't fucking matter. It just shouldn't. If it relates to you, it shouldn't fucking matter. Why? This person doesn't know you, this person doesn't care about you, and therefore whatever they say, and they, it, they may try and relate it to you, but it doesn't fucking relate to you because they don't know who you are, and they don't care about who you are. So therefore, you shouldn't care about what they have to say. And moving forward, there are only really, to me, there are only two opinions about your body that should matter. One of them is what you think about your body, and that's the only one that can actually come from you. Or, well, it can come from you, and the other one can, but that's the one that's specific to yourself. And the other one that can come from other, pers other people and yourself is... If it's a le legitimate fucking concern about your body, about your health, like, hey, you don't look too good, are you okay? You know, like, shit that has to deal with your lifespan. Not just physical, or physical appearance, but, like, your fucking lifespan, you know? People that want you to be healthy, and just be you, and not fucking deteriorate. And physical beauty? It doesn't fucking matter. It's only there for a little bit of time, honestly. It fades, and it's only skin deep, but a personality lasts for fucking ass. And anyone who will judge you on your physical appearance, and make decisions about you on your physical appearance, well then fuck that person, that don't fucking matter. I mean, they may matter to somebody, but they shouldn't matter to you, because... If they... Oh, so what if they won't be your friend? I wouldn't be a friend anyways, because something so menial, as little as physical appearance that is so limited, and doesn't, you can't help at all. If that means so much to them, then they're going to get what they, what's coming to them, because oh, they're limiting themselves, they're limiting their lives to something just trivial. But yeah, fuck that person. Fuck anyone that thinks that way. Me personally, I have a story about that. I went through middle school and my first year of high school always getting bullied. My self-worth and opinion just going down, 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 down until I finally had enough of it. And that's why I try and spread the imp or message, not image. But yeah, I try and spread the message now because I realize how much that fucking, it, the deep mental scars that it left, deep emotional scars that it left on me. So I try and help other people going through the same thing. I just try and relate to people as a real person. And one thing I guess I can really say is another opinion I guess really matters is a doctor's opinion. And I know that's kind of random, but I'm just saying that because I'm not a doctor. They're really the only people who can tell you if you're being unhealthy. If you ask me why I'm feeling like shit one day, I'm gonna tell you, I don't fucking know. Global warming. So, yeah. That's about it, really. I know it's easier said than done, like I said earlier. It's one of those things that you have to experience and eventually do for yourself, but... I just, it's important for somebody to tell you that. 
some, for somebody to relate to you on that level and say, hey, there's an obstacle in your way. There are people, you know, looking down on you. But that's not the end of it. And eventually you can get through it. Everybody can get through it. It's not the end all be all, but it's just something you're going to have to go through and you'll be better because of it. You'll be better than the people who are looking down on you. And you can look down on them one day and say, hey, you're a shitty person. You're everything in your life is not, or everything in your life is at face value. And when you can say that, you don't take everything for face value. It just, it means a lot to the people that matter. For you to be actually able to look into something and not judge a book by its cover. That's a hell of a lot more mature. That's a hell of a lot better than anyone who just looks at something and instantly thinks that they know about it. And they fucking don't. And they never will. And uh, as I've said before, it's a sad way to look at it. And it's a sad world that we live in where society is so fucking heavy, or the norm in society, norm, is to be judgmental. But to be judgmental is just to say, hey, you shouldn't be unique. Nobody should be unique. And that's just shitty. That's saying, oh, if something's different, it's bad because there's really no reason. I was going to say because something, but I can't even think of it. Because you know what? If something's bad because it's different, that's saying you're bad because you're different. And that you've cut off everything about you that makes you unique just to conform to somebody else's view. And that goes back to what, I, what I've been saying. Nobody else's opinion about you fucking matters. It shouldn't. And it never will once you realize that life goes on at all times. Time keeps moving, every day goes in, day goes out, with or without them. That's when life just starts getting better. You can start healing. This is a little bit about me, a little bit about my beliefs, and I guess I'm going to share my story with you guys another time soon, maybe collab with some other people. But take it easy. Have a good day. And just know you're loved. You're lovable. Mr. Sazek signing out. Peace.